Hello friends, welcome back to another video of automation testing insider. So today I'm going to talk about what do you mean by exploratory testing? Why do we do exploratory testing? And what are the advantages and disadvantages of exploratory testing? So let's talk about what do you mean by exploratory testing first guys. So when we test any application, when we test any application based on our skills and experience or knowledge when we test any application based on our skills and experience is nothing but the exploratory testing when we explore the application based on skills and knowledge and here we don't create the test cases in advance unlike the formal testing approach where we go through the requirement we note down the we write down the test cases and we execute the test cases but here what happens is we we will just explore the application on the fly so here we may note down uh, some scenarios or uh, we note down some ideas while like what to test when we go for exploratory testing guys so basically it is the process of you know uh, learning learning test design and test execution So it is the continuous uh, simultaneous process of learning the application test design and test execution Test design is not like the formal test design where we write the test cases here we just we may note down some of the scenarios or we may just think about some of the scenarios in what to test as part of exploratory testing so this is the simultaneous process of learning test design and test execution so this is a simple definition of exploratory testing guys so here we don't create the test cases in advance we will just explore the application on the fly now if you see in formal testing approach what happens is we will do a structured way of testing so we will do one by one all these steps right so first we go through the requirement we do the test design and we'll execute the test cases and there is a structured way of testing the applications like application one sorry functionality one when we and then we go for functionality two functionality three and functionality four so we'll do step by step testing we'll have completed testing of functionality one two three and four one by one but what happens in exploratory testing so there is no particular order of order of doing the things or testing the application so we'll just randomly we'll test the application like this so there is no particular order we just perform the random testing as part of exploratory testing now question arises here is why we go for exploratory testing guys and exploratory testing mainly used in agile methodology okay now let's talk about like why we go for exploratory testing so when we have missing requirement in the application okay let's say we we are going to implement some functionality and requirement is missing requirement is missing so in that case we we will go for exploratory testing because we have uh, when we know about the application so we can just explore the application based on the previous knowledge previous experience we can just explore the application so that is one of the reasons we go for exploratory testing sometimes what happens is uh, in agile methodology because since we have frequent release we may uh, we don't get sometimes requirement from the business team so we can go for exploratory testing now the second reason is reason is when we have experienced tester in our team experienced testers so experienced tester already knows about the application very well because of the experience so we can just go about the exploratory testing when we have experienced tester in our team third reason could be we choose exploratory testing is when we have deployment when we have deployment in uh, when deployment cycle is very near okay in that case we go for when deployment cycle is near when deployment is near we go for exploratory testing because we don't have 
much time to you know go through the requirement design the test cases and execute the test cases so in that case we just explore the application and we perform the exploratory testing fourth reason could be when we have new testers in our team new testers in the team so we can just ask the new testers to just explore the application so they they will just go through the application and perform the exploratory testing another reason could be when we have critical application when we have critical application so many people doesn't know in a team in our team like uh, because since this is a critical application so we can just go for the exploratory testing and learn the application by performing exploratory testing so these are the some of the reasons guys we go for exploratory testing now from the next slide onwards uh, we will just recap the things what we have discussed so far i have noted down some of the points some of the notes so that will be that might useful for you guys so uh, we and whatever we have discussed we can just recap so let's get it started so what is exploratory testing guys so exploratory testing is an approach in software testing that is concisely described as simultaneous learning is what we have discussed learning test design and test execution exploratory testing allows you to think outside of the box and come up with the scenarios that might not be covered in test case correct so when we explore the application we may think about the uh, like outside of the box correct which might not covered as part of the normal testing approach in simple word it is a type of software testing where test cases are not created in advance but tester check the system on the fly this is what we have discussed when we talked about exploratory testing definition it focuses on discovery and relies on the guidance of the individual testers to uncover defects that are not easily covered in the scope of other test so that is the biggest advantage of performing exploratory testing it doesn't restrict the tester to predefined set of instructions so we don't have hard and fast rule to perform exploratory testing this is a test approach that can apply to any test technique at any stage in the development process so at any level we can perform exploratory testing so why we should go for exploratory testing guys so we have discussed five points so this is addition of those five points so in many software cycle an early iteration is required when teams don't have much time to structure the test exploratory testing is quite helpful in that scenario so this is what we have discussed so let's say we have a very early cycle in the software development life cycle when we have release uh, is very near so we can go for exploratory testing when testing miss uh, mission critical applications exploratory testing ensures don't miss edge cases that lead to critical quality failures it is especially useful to find new test scenarios to enhance the test coverage it helps review the quality of product from user perspective so these are the some of the reasons we go for exploratory testing guys let's talk about some of the advantages of exploratory testing it requires limited preparation which allows you to save time and quickly jump to the execution so we may just note down some of the scenarios we may just think about some of the scenarios about the exploratory testing so it save a lot of time and we can directly jump to the execution in exploratory testing you can generate your own test scenarios on fly which will allow you to dive deeper into the functional aspect of the product this test is much less time consuming it allows you to think outside of the box and come up with the scenarios that might not cover in a test case which we have discussed earlier this allows the tester to find defects that are beyond the scope of the limited scenarios this is one of the biggest advantage of exploratory testing guys this is an approach that is most useful when the there when there are no or poor specification and when time is severely limited so in that case like missing requirement or requirement is not understandable so in that case exploratory testing is very useful 
what are the disadvantages of exploratory testing so in exploratory testing once testing is performed it is not reviewed so since we don't have proper documentation about the uh, for exploratory testing so we cannot review the uh, what we have done as part of exploratory testing difficult to conduct difficult to document each procedure it is difficult to reproduce the failure so this is one of the biggest uh, disadvantage of exploratory testing so we don't know like how we proceed and how we uh, produce the reproduce the failure like the steps to reproduce the failure in exploratory testing like we sometimes we forget like how we have uh, how we got that issue it is not easy to say which tests were already performed limited by testers skill set so it depends on tester to tester guys how they execute the how they explore the application based on skills knowledge and experience reporting is difficult without planned script so these are the some of the disadvantages guys so this is all about today about exploratory testing so if you like this video then please share it and if you are new to my channel then please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos thank you so much Thank you.